Any D.Va players, let it be known. Actually, what I should do is ban something else first. And I'll, I'll just let it run the full duration. That's an interesting thought. So they're ma so yeah, but that's also Li Ming, like, so maybe that's the heroes they play in that way. Okay, he wants to play some Lucio, that's good, that's fine. We got a Jaina. That was, yeah, that's an interesting thought. I mean, everybody has their traits, their specialty abilities that are on their character sheet. Like that Zeratul, er Zeratul earlier who couldn't necessarily play a good Zeratul all the way to 20, but once we got to 20, they were okay. And they did pretty well. I remember the old Hammers who would only go Hover Siege. Huh. I wonder... I wonder if they're known for that sort of thing. Because he does play, looks like Diablo and stuff, and wins on it well enough. So we'll communicate with David here. I'd say my trait is probably that I undercast heroics. That's probably my greatest weakness that I think of. Or I use heroics too heavily for peeling rather than engaging. I want to communicate with David here and see if he needs additional... That's weird. Most played Lucio, but it's a Smurf account. So we actually can't go based off this kind of stuff. Hmm. Lucio on Alterac Pass. I wonder what they do on Alterac Pass that is so Lucio-y. Well, locking straight into ETC Stukov. Still no word from David. This realm needs me. Judgment's not ready. Okay, looks like we're okay. Yeah, maybe. I think my concern is often that I wait for people to be in range before I use heroics, but they might be in range by the time the stun ends, and that's something that I have a hard time calculating. Like, Diablo and Mephisto, or uh, Malganus, I know how to live a long time. What did they, they need for anything? Um, I think I'll just dodge the explosiveness and the capability. And in that, so in that final bit where we got the Li Ming and Ana, we fired even though no one was in range yet, and then we managed to get in range by the end. And that'd be a perfect example where I do not use my heroics aggressively enough. The wait is over. Nobody wants to heal. Looks uh. Devil Kyrazine. Uh, Kyrazine could work. So our time to kill is like really small. I agree, Brightwing would have been cool, but that was up to David. Hmm. 
So we need to get a pick very fast, and we can't let Stukov and ETC make the decision as to when the fight starts, because we won't recover from that. We got Rainer, we got Imperius. There's just not a very good way for Li Ming to get topped off, but hopefully Kairazim will put the effort into... Interesting, Reorg. Okay. Yeah, it, it, to me, it's just all... As long as we do not succumb to the ETC Stukov opener, we should be able to get a pretty quick delete on somebody and then come out the other side with enough health to win the fight. The nice thing for Kai Razim is that it'll be me, Imperius, and then Li Ming, Rainer. So we kind of make a box. And Kai Razim can travel in between everybody to maneuver. Sometimes being clumped up real nice is really good for Kai Razim so he can heal everybody. But I think versus the Stukov ETC and even the Cassie Offend and stuff, it'll be really good if we're kind of spread out and let Kai Razim maneuver where he needs to. As for what I'm going to get up to, I guess we can see if if Falstad's going to do Lightning Rod. But I think I'm dead if they get a hold of me before I get a hold of them. So there's really no... Might even... I think we devils do. Just because it's about getting a quick kill and then recovering on the other side. Because what we're not going to do is be able to hit the spell shield in time, likely. And feast on fear is better in longer fights. Now that would me be feast on fearing there, like being like, oh, a stun. A stun is how. Ooh. Goodbye, Li Ming. All right, well, we can use this right now. Since we're a little early. Oh, he's going damage, yeah, so that kind of supports our theory that. Our time to kill will be low. He's not going to be helping with camps or anything like that. Rainer is going to need help with that, too. It looks like he grabbed a well for it. Ming's heading top. Cool. Where am I going to go to from here? I honestly don't think I have long a long time to do anything. So we're going to do a sacrificial soul for armor. As I go in, we're going to have armor. That'll give us the survivability for that burst moment, and then on the other side of it. False Dad's already bought him, so if we can kind of clear his lane... Rainer out. 
At least, uh, you know, Rainer has better lane clear than me, and I didn't lose my souls. Dodge and ETC stuff decently. Looks like we're gonna be okay here. I don't want to lose a lot of health doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out and let Rainer finish it off. Malevolence can be fun to do some burst on the other side of the dive while we have the armor. I don't think we'll have mana issues here. It'll help my time to kill. Nice little trickery there. Okay, we're grabbing another... back for him. I'm going to res pretty fast. Solo, hey, it's a solo lane. Imper it's an Imperius, so telling Imperius to soak is like Wait, hang on, hang on. Okay, it's going to be going a bit busy. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh. Huh. Uh, he actually managed to hold off on that. We need fast kills. Alright, I'm overhealed. So let's get aggressive. As Imperius shows up, I'm gonna see if I can... It wasn't beautiful. But I don't think this will have a huge impact, actually. I still want somebody, and there's a nice wall. I do not have auto attacks heal, so I gotta I gotta do my best to run for it, but I'm dead. Oh, that palm is not not close enough. Does Imperius have a jump? Okay, I should just spread out then and get some souls. Voodoo, thank you for saying so. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. Wait, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Going. I 
she sounds just like Lily every time she says we did it or whatever the heck that is that comes out of Cassie's mouth. Yeah, it was a good ult by Falstead and a good Gladiator's Medallion. We managed to catch him, but it did lead to our demise and a reset of our souls as well. Reduce, uh, reduces armor is exactly what we need. That's going to heal me a little bit, but Kyrazine's dead. gonna cram in. I can kill Leoric off the side of that. And that's no mosh. Right, this will poop out an orb for me once we get it. Or a little bit after it. So I'm gonna need that orb. Where's my poop? There it is. Just gonna block any approaches with a little flame stomp action in case. Yep, there it is. Yeah, we have a we have a mighty gust boy coming in. All I want to do is make sure we don't get mighty gusted. Oh, wow, it caught me mid. Mid swing. There we go. On to Stukov. I am enjoying NGS, yeah. We managed to put together a pretty decent team for my first season, so... Ooh. Who was that? Where was they? What? what? You must have done it on the other side of the wall. Alright, we are souls ready. We are missing a Li Ming. We've got a Leoric top. I want to be with Rainer so that Rainer can push. Jessica, thank you for the 14 months. There's some sight. Managed to do quite a bit of damage in that little load up there. Okay. I can do this from inside the aura. That's not too bad. Alright. We're still three seconds out. I think it's Encore, so there might be a mosh pit. Oh, wow, there goes ETC. Okay, we still need another one. Could we boss? Yeah, everyone's into it. Be off vision as best we can manage. Yeah. 
Cool, yeah, we got Imperius top. There's a mighty gust and there's gonna be everything else, so we gotta watch out. I've always loved the idea of mighty gusting the Entomb. Jeez. I, I want Cassia. Uh, oh, there we go. I can't do the stand and fight versus Leo, though. Because I don't have the auto attacks. Cool. I want to get an orb. We lost Li Ming. We have a Rainer. Let me see if I can get another orb. There we go. Oh, keep the aggro. Leoric might come back up, but can't really 1v1 him. Uh, he just hung out on that wall. That's a nice virulent reaction, but... Full stat, right there. Yep, there's him. Oh, we can't let that reset? Oh, I guess we're letting it reset on purpose. That's what I'm gonna assume. Cause that'd be very cool of us. Cause we want to get other things, right? We did it on purpose. And let me round these up for you. There's an orb. I can get in range of Cassie, I can finish her off. And eh, nice job, Cassia. Ooh. Oh, Kyrazim landed it again. That's a nice one. Oh, but Kyrazim didn't make it. Still a chance to turn it around. I'm a little, a little low. Nah, okay. We'll come back. Oh no! I guess we all got killed. I think. Oh, he's still going. Wow. got no souls though but there is a low false dad i mean they might not expect me to kill false dad right who would expect me to kill false dad after all <laughs> i'm out i'm out i'm out of here i'm out of here i'm out of here no one would expect me to kill cassia right oh damn <laughs> well, it would have been cool if we killed Cassia. I guess we'll just have to live with it was okay. But they're locked on their half due to all the, the gnolls. So these dudes should be safe getting the camps and waiting for us all there is. Plus, we got some souls out of it, for what it's worth. The hordes captured more of yeah, yeah, I think, I think we're okay. That's a good point. Do we have walls? Uh, we got towers? Nah, we don't have walls, but I think you're right. 
And we have an APOC to contribute, should they get into trouble here. I, hey, I, I, I'm down for saying it was worth it. Here comes Leoric. No support in range, though. Cool. I'm still going to be watching, though, in case of the APOC needs. Falstad is up, though. They're dealing with a boss. Oh, Stukov. Stukov's thinking about... Oh, I didn't get him. That's... Sadly, I can't... Oh, can Imperius clean up? Oh, into a death mosh. They've got both assassins. Ah, I engaged bad for the build. I engaged like I was going to keep auto attacking in there and live longer. And that's my bad. Without souls, I was way too aggressive. Oh, damn. Oh, she's on a bad angle to finish it up. Oh, Raynor died too. Okay, and that core is not gonna... 38 seconds, 10. 9, 5. Oh, it managed to pause actually. We got 25 seconds. Particularly if Stukov's in a bad location. But I don't have a sustain with me. But we still managed to D it. We're waiting for Raynor. There's Falstad. That's up to Imperius to connect on. I got interrupted during my charge. That sucks. The death mosh is tragic. Cast you through the hole here. Okay, I need that well. I gotta do is I think get rid of Stukov. I think it's over. We did it. <laughs> yeah, big fountain value, right? I mean, it was a weird build. It's not one I run very often. And I think I made some mistakes in the late game and how I played it. But we had some damage. This increased my burst. And we got an armor reduction to help with that burst. Wasn't able to land a lot of good Hellgates, but we did use it for escape there. Malevolence did increase our overall output a little bit, so we broke 50,000. Welcome to you, Chrono Crystal. It was a good adaptation. Yeah, no, I, it's not something I run very often, because it is so volatile. All right.